good evening uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com today uh, today I'm talking about digital clock in WPF so uh, here we design um, digital digital clock in WPF uh, if you want to design the digital clock uh, then uh, must to uh, use a dispatcher timer class uh, uh, the same uh, timer class uh, in Windows form here we have a dispatcher timer class uh, through which we can design a, a digital clock in WPF so uh, first of all add a text block control with their name and the uh, font size property of the text block so add a font size or you can also uh, formatting um, of the text block by using the font size font weight and uh, etc uh, but here we have uh, here we uh, will use font size that is 18 pixels it's too much large and I want to <coughs> remove the text from the text blocks also uh, set the name property of the text block so uh, first of all <coughs> open uh, your code behind file uh, of your digital clock dot xaml file uh, the code behind uh, support that is C sharp so uh, add a dispatcher timer uh, just after your digital clock uh, constructor uh, or you can say the uh, just after initializing component you can uh, use uh, dispatcher timer class so uh, I want to take a separate method for this uh, remove the throw new uh, implementation mm, things and use a dispatcher timer just after writing the dispatcher timer you can press control dot so uh, here mm, your intelligence or you can say refactor shows the namespace name and the dispatcher timer class exists in system dot windows dot threading namespace that is uh, mm, the last namespace which is added in uh, the f uh, code behind file system dot windows dot threading uh, <coughs> the same things sorry the same uh, the same things um, here we have uh, that is interval uh, i want to pick the interval from the uh, time span uh, enumerated uh, from from second method that is one second and uh, also uh, handle the tick event uh, in the tick event i want to generate a single um, method that is um, tick event and start the timer when the um, first time your project or your application is load so timer dot start now <coughs> generate a method stub on timer event sorry tick event and here uh, here we uh, want to display uh, the date or you can say uh, date and time um, on your text blocks so um, assign the name property uh, to the text blocks that is date lbl and i want to remove the text from the text block okay i will show you uh, how to display the correct format of the time uh, as well as uh, uh, your date so pick the <coughs> text block by their uh, name property that is date uh, lbl dot text and I want to show the date time um, both uh, on the label by using date time dot now dot to string uh, it's a simple line through which we can uh, display your time and each uh, tick event every tick event uh, your you can say tick event raised just after one second um, your second is updated that oops uh, first of all um, uh, set your startup URL by using the app.xaml file mm, digital clock dot xaml sorry uh, uh, now run it as uh, yeah when the application is loaded successfully that is your time updated mm, just after one second okay uh, if you want to show only the time uh, that uh, take inside some parameter in the two string method that is mmm seconds uh, mm means mi uh, minutes and ss for seconds if you want to 
take hours as well so you can take HH okay uh, here we, we will show you mm and ss it means 2 minutes and seconds second updated properly according to your system date so uh, if you want to show your hours then uh, easily you can set uh, so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to WPF thank you thank you very much